power. We all want it. We all need it. The secret is to be able to control it. Now, when we can control power, we can get a spacecraft to Europa. When we can't control power, we get Chernobyl. So the key is to be able to control your incoming power. Now, to that end, we recently released three switches. Uh, we've got a 2mm JST soft switch, we've got a USB-C soft switch, and we have a quick power switch. Now, they all three pretty much do the same thing, but they've got their differences. And today I want to do a little bit of a deep dive into them and do some comparing and contrasting of the three. So we'll start out with the quick switch. Now this one is designed to control power and in fact data over the I squared C line. And so therefore to get up and running with this, we don't need to do any soldering, any jumpers. We can just use the quick connectors. Let's take a look. With this example, I'm getting the instruction set in the serial monitor. And that's also where I'm giving my instruction. However, since we like our feedback close to our source, I've gone ahead and added the closest display I had sitting at my workbench, which today happened to be a quick 16x2 serial LCD. It could have been a micro OLED, could have been a serial miniature LCD, but today it was a 16x2 serial LCD. So if you do wind up using this in a project that's not tethered to your computer, I can just say that it took very little coding to get my output from the laptop monitor to the LCD screen. So if we take a look at this board and the LCD display, the board shows this green LED illuminated, which means power is making its way through the board. And it says here, power is on. It also says I squared C ISO is disabled. So that means the I squared C bus is not disabled. It is allowing I squared C information to pass through. That is one of the cool things about this switch is you can control the power, but you can also control the data separately. You can turn the data on and off to or from whatever I squared C device is beyond this. So if we go over here and take a look at our screen, let's see, two, we'll turn off our power, we'll turn off everything. So we go to two, enter two, and look at that. Our green light disappears, and now power is off. So let's bring power back on. We'll enter one here, good. Power is on, green LED is on. So option number three is to isolate the I squared C device. As you can see, power is still on, but the I squared C device is isolated, that means there is no I squared C data passing through, but you've still got the board powered. This can be useful in certain situations. Bring it all back on. There we go. Everything is back on, just like if we'd hit one. One is on, two, everything is off. One, everything comes back on. It's that simple, but it's a really cool new board. So that is a quick as possible look at our new quick power switch. It's a really cool addition to our catalog and I'm excited to use it in a lot of my projects. Now let's take a look at the other two, the JST 2mm soft switch and the USB-C soft switch and see how easy it is to get those up and running. So the 2mm JST soft switch and the USB-C soft switch operate pretty much identically. They run the same chipset, they run the same example code, so I'm just going to demo one. Let's, uh, let's see, let's mix them up here, and I'll do this, do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and uh, let's see. And let's demonstrate. We'll use this one. We'll use the JST 2 millimeter. Be right back. Now, both the soft switches, the JST and the USB-C, have an onboard button as well as pinouts that will allow you to add your own external button if need be. And that can be super helpful if you're building this into a project. I'm just going to use the onboard button. They also require a little extra wiring to go from the microcontroller to the board itself. You can solder to it. I'm just using some I squared C hooks to make it simple. So I'm using the I squared C hooks running to my red board here and using the onboard button. You can see on both boards, we've got indicator LEDs, both in and out, and the power indicator here on the red board. So let's say I were to push this button just quickly. Hey, nothing happened. Because just like the computer button on your laptop, if you accidentally hit it quickly, it might black out the screen, shut things down that way, but it's not going to shut down the entire system. For that, you would need to hold the button for, say, two seconds. And look at that. Everything's gone. Similar to how you turn it on. If you just give it a quick hit, you'll see the button blink, but it doesn't stay on. However, if you press and hold it, look at that. There you go. Now we've got the in, inboard but LED, the outboard LED, and all the power LEDs on your redboard. Everything is up and running. Super useful again, especially in an enclosed project. I know for me, for so many projects that I'll build, especially in a hurry here for a demo, I'll put it together and I want it to be standalone. So I'll give it a battery like this. However, 
I've got an enclosure that I've made for it. I 3D printed this thing, it's got screws. Once I screw that together with the battery inside it, it's either on or off until the battery dies. With this, so instead of having it all locked up, you can have an external button that allows you to power it on and power it off without having to unscrew the entire thing. Now, one thing I need to mention, actually, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I think sometimes I tend to just gloss over the things that I think are simple that I kind of take for granted, but this is really important. Heed my words, heed my warning. Each one of these boards has an inline and an outline. So make sure that your power is going to the inline and that your outline is going to your boards or to wherever you need it to go to. That's gonna save you a lot of headache and trouble. And it's right in the silk screen, in, out, not a problem. But just make sure you're doing that correctly. So you can now control your power. Take that control, use that control. Start creating your own spacecraft to Europa or whatever you may be doing with your next project with our three new soft power switches. Get them over at our website. And as always, happy hacking. <laughs>